Hello and welcome. I am Rajesh Pawar and over next one hour we will be bringing you all the latest updates on the ninth day of the invasion of Ukraine. Russia attacks nuke plant world on edge. This plant in meltdown will mean 100 times Chernobyl. Biggest global threat on invasions day nine. No nuclear safety margins by firing forces. Zafrosia secure, but for how long? If this new plant leaked, there will be a colossal disaster. As Russia takes control of Zafrosia plant, hair-raising images of fire at plant's surface. Nuclear disaster looms. Russia has captured the nuclear power plant at Zafrosia. There was intense fighting before it was captured by the Russian troops. There was some fire on the outskirts of the complex as well. However, there was no damage to the reactor. This attack on a nuclear reactor brings back the fear of 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster. Here is a report. Hair-raising images of Europe's biggest nuclear plant. In direct line of fire by Putin's invasion army. Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear plant's administrative building on fire. After barrage of heavy shelling by Russia, putting the atomic reactor in absolute threat. A small breach in the safety mechanism could mean catastrophe causing radioactive leak, placing millions in path of direct radiation. Super scary prospects of a nuclear meltdown. 100 times that of Hiroshima nuclear holocaust in heart of Europe. Spooking the world, scaring the continent out of its wits. Ukraine's 15 nuclear plants facing the doomsday scenario. A Russian army made no distinction between legitimate military targets and a nuke installation. There is a real and present danger and this is a nuclear incident on the biggest nuclear power plant in Europe. We demand to stop firing from heavy calibers on the nuclear power plant. The fire is a result of the shooting on the nuclear power plant. I repeat, the fire has started as a result of shooting by forces of the Russian Federation in the direction of the power plant. While Russia took control of the nuclear power plant, biggest in Europe, the world panicked despite claims that the fire has been extinguished. Ukraine's President Zelensky sent an atomic SOS to the West. Europe has to wake up now. Europe's largest nuclear power plant is on fire. At this very moment, Russian tanks are shooting at nuclear reactor blocks. These are tanks equipped with the thermal vision devices, so they know where they are shooting. They were prepared for this. US President Joe Biden spoke to Ukrainian President, so did UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, urging Russia to allow emergency access to the plant for inspection. World has not forgotten the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster, when a steam turbine leaked during a routine safety check led to spewing of hazardous radioactive elements in the then Soviet city putting millions in danger and turning the now Ukrainian region into a ghost city. Bureau Report, India Today. Europe's largest nuclear power plant is right now under Russian control. It was captured by the Russian troops after heavy fighting with the Ukrainian guards. There were reports of fire around the nuclear reactor, which created a lot of tense moments around the world. Add to this are the threats of Mr. Putin, 
using nuclear weapons against the NATO countries. The world is on edge whether Russia will use its nuclear arsenal against the NATO countries. The biggest escalation in the Ukraine war yet, a nuclear turn to the ongoing conflict. The Zafrosia nuclear power plant, Europe's largest, is now under Russian control after a fire in the plant that had the whole world holding its breath. Chernobyl, the defunct power plant, is also now filled with Russian troops and tanks. With Putin setting his eyes now on gaining control of all 15 nuclear power plants in Ukraine. The development comes hours after Russian President Vladimir Putin fired this dangerous warning to the United States and the world. Now, in the Ukrainian land, our soldiers and officers are fighting for Russia, for a peaceful life for the people of Donbass, to denazify and demilitarize Ukraine so that no anti-Russia that has been created by the West next to our borders didn't threaten us. With nuclear weapons as well, as it was happening recently, our people is proud of our armed forces. We will always remember our fallen brothers. Russia has been resorting to nuclear saber-rattling since the start of this war. In a matter of nine days, four such nuke warnings have been fired by Putin and his deputies. Ukraine possesses Soviet technologies and the means to deliver such nuclear weapons. We cannot ignore that real danger. Let me assure you, as a responsible member of the international community, committed to its obligation to non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, Russia is taking every possible measure to prevent Ukraine getting nuclear weapons and respective technologies. The first indication that Putin was taking this conflict to a whole new level, to a world-threatening nuclear level, was four days into the war, when he ordered a nuclear alert. Dear colleagues, as you can see, not only do Western countries have unfriendly measures against our country in the economic dimension, I mean the illegal sanctions that everyone knows about very well, but also the top officials of leading NATO countries allow themselves to make aggressive statements with regards to our country. That is why I ordered Defence Minister and Chief of the General Staff to put Russian Army Deterrence Forces on high combat alert. The latest developments in Ukraine of Russia slowly taking control of all nuclear power plants had caught the world's hackles up and Ukraine President Zelensky has appealed to the world leaders to act immediately. The Russian propaganda was threatening everybody, we remember, to cover the earth with nuclear ashes. Now it is not just a threat, it is our reality. There's a reason the world is extremely worried about Putin's nuclear threats. His country has a powerful and extremely dangerous arsenal of nuclear weapons. Only the US, Russia and China have intercontinental ballistic missiles. And Russia has many options when it comes to delivery of nuclear weapons. Topol M is one of the most recent intercontinental ballistic missiles to be deployed by Russia. It is the first to be developed after dissolution of the Soviet Union. The RSM-56 Bulava is a submarine-launched ballistic missile developed for the Russian Navy. It was developed in 2013 on the new Borei class of nuclear submarines. Kinzhal is a hypersonic cruise missile. It has a claimed range of more than 2,000 km and an ability to perform evasive maneuvers at every stage of its fight. Putin's constant nuclear name-dropping have been deemed as posturing by Russia amid the war a warning and reminder perhaps to the West that Russia is a powerful nuclear-armed country not to be messed with. Bureau Report, India Today. As the fears of nuclear war grows, India Today has the best team of experts to analyze this threat. There is the coordinator of NATO in Ukraine and a great historian. Please listen in. In the past seven decades, there hasn't been a direct conflict between the major powers of the world and no recognized country has had uh, its status changed forever. 
Do you yeah. apprehend that in the way events are shaping up, we could be heading towards a third world war? Is that within the realm of your possibilities? I hope very much not. I think the West is, is, is very cautious about it. And again, remember that Russia, it has nukes, that's true. But apart from that, it's a relatively weak power. It is not the Soviet Union. You know, if other nations join it, like China or like Iran, or like Iran then it's a completely different matter. But so far we've also seen that China is sitting on the fence, just observing what is happening, not committing itself. Russia by itself is not strong enough to, to have a third world war. It can destroy humanity with nuclear weapons, that's true. And everybody should be worried about nuclear weapons because if this war continues, we will see nuclear weapons spreading more and more. You know, Germany and Japan are now thinking about it again because they say to themselves in 2024, who knows who the US president will be? Maybe Trump is president again. And if Russia or China invades us in 2024, 2025, are we really certain that Trump will defend us? If not, we need our own nukes. And then Iran says, wait, if Germany and Japan now have nukes, why can't we? And we will see more and more nuclear weapons spreading. And as there are more and more fingers on the button of the nuclear weapons, the chances increase that somebody somewhere will press it and it will be the end of human civilization. The world is on edge as the Russian missiles today landed near Europe's biggest nuclear power plant. There was no report of any radiation leakage. However, any such accident could cause disaster. We have a team of experts who will break it down for you. Listen in. Europe has to wake up now. Europe's largest nuclear power plant is on fire. At this very moment, Russian tanks are shooting at nuclear reactor blocks. These are tanks equipped with thermal vision devices, so they know where they are shooting. They were prepared for this. On Friday, the war in Ukraine took a dangerous turn as Russia aimed bombs at Europe's biggest nuclear plant. Fortunately, the fire that was triggered by the bombing was controlled and a deadly disaster averted. But what if the bombings had directly affected the nuclear fuel cycle at the plant and led to a large-scale release of radioactivity in the air? That would have caused destruction of unimaginable proportions. Here's why. Any leak at Ukraine's major nuclear plants would affect Ukraine's major cities, Kharkiv, Kyiv, Odessa, Mariupol and Kherson. So why is the world on tenterhooks? A fire can ruin a nuclear plant's safety mechanism heat and lead to radioactive leak. A leak could threaten nations far beyond Ukraine's borders. Millions could face radiation exposure. Ukraine and Europe would see blackouts. Ukraine's soil would be contaminated and beyond use for centuries. Ukraine has seen it before. In 1986, in Chernobyl, one of the world's worst nuclear accidents in terms of casualties and after effects. There have been other scares too, since the world turned to nuclear energy. Apart from Chernobyl, in 1999, a nuclear accident happened at a uranium facility in Tokai Mura, Japan. In 1979, cooling systems failed in a power plant in Three Mile Island, Pennsylvania. A Soviet submarine developed radioactive leak was reported in North Atlantic Ocean in 1961 and an explosion contaminated 500 miles in Russia in 1957. So what have been the effects of a nuke meltdown then? Heat, pressure and steam builds up. Radioactive materials release that impact the environment and human life. Lacks fall prey to radiation. Russia's strike at the nuclear plant has put the world on edge. Humanity cannot afford a nuclear accident let alone one fueled by a war. Bureau Report, India Today. The biggest tragedy of nuclear war is always humanitarian. Be it Fukushima, Hiroshima, Nagasaki or Chernobyl. 
we have seen the deadly effects of a nuclear disaster. History has taught us that a nuclear disaster or a nuclear war will spell doomsday. Have a look at this report. The atomic mushroom cloud over Japan's Hiroshima and Nagasaki 77 years ago remains an iconic image of World War II. Thousands died within seconds. Others lived with lifelong scars. Generations felt the after effects. When America dropped the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the blast produced enormous amount of heat and lethal ionizing radiations. Even today, its effect is felt in Japan. In children born with deformities and diseases, a horrible indicator of the lasting effect of radiation. Worsening amount of radiation exposure decreases the uh, WBC count, what we call as leukopenia. It causes radiation sickness, skin burns, vomiting, nausea, and it can be lethal up to 35% uh, of population even in low dose exposure. Spontaneous hemorrhages, it can cause death even within 10 days of prolonged exposure. It affects the brain, uh, acute hair loss, skin burns, uh, eyes, cataract, it damages your blood vessels, uh, spontaneous hemorrhages, it, it destroys your reproductive organs. Conflict of this enormity has resulted not only in physical effect but also on long-term psychological issues. The feeling that the world is unsafe, the feeling as that me, my family, my loved ones would be unsafe. The correlation between war and post-traumatic stress disorder has been long established. And this is not just for people who were there, but for generations to come, where this traumatic experience is passed on through stories. After the Chernobyl disaster in April 1986 in northern Ukraine, scientists estimate the zone around this plant will not be habitable for 20,000 years. The impact of the radiation leak was felt even in countries like Sweden, France and Italy whose fields got contaminated and people affected. Researchers have found evidence of elevated levels of cataract and albinism and lower rate of beneficial bacteria among wildlife. Even thyroid cancer among children who drank contaminated milk was reported. In 2011, an earthquake and tsunami led to the power loss in the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Explosions led to the release of radiation into air and ocean. Seven years later, a worker in charge of measuring radiation at the plant died of lung cancer caused by the radiation exposure. The attack on the nuclear plant in Ukraine has once again raised fear of the horrors of radiation leak. It would be pertinent to remember the lessons learned from history so as not to repeat it. Bureau Report, India Today. On the other side, we continue our rolling coverage of Russia-Ukraine war. Have a look.